Hey, good morning all. It's Dan, the Bald Scrambler. Uh, today I am sat on the shores of Lake Idwell. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I've only seen one other person today. What a beautiful, perfect day for me to go out and do some scrambles. So today I am going to make my way up Idwell Buttress and then onto Seniors Ridge. From Seniors Ridge I may then decide to go up to Glider Vauer or I may come back down, perhaps along Seniors Gully, back down to the lake, and then maybe have a think about uh, another scrambling route to do a little bit later on. Now, if all of these names mean absolutely nothing to you, feast your eyes on this. Starting off on this, what looks like a middle buttress. As we reach the top, following the natural line of the rock to the right, crossing over the grass, following up what looks from here like a ridge of sorts, not all the way to the top. I'll be following a left line into a depression at the very top of the ridge line there. So I'm about halfway up sort of that main lower buttress which I showed you earlier and there's quite a few different routes you can take up so I, it's only the second time I've done this so I just picked the easiest line which was slightly to the right lots of holds on there I tried to avoid the main slab in the middle so if you have a look I came up just on the side plenty of holds in there a little bit smooth on this main slab probably still doable also, pretty sure some people would have gone up that grassy bit in the middle as well, by the looks of it. Plenty of holds all down there coming up. I think it's about nine o'clock in the morning now, maybe 8.45, nine in the morning. Rock's bone dry, grass is a little bit wet, but the rock's dry. A few other climbers and scramblers about, but not many. I'm nearing the top of the first sort of buttress, the first sort of slabby section. Really good quality scrambling so far, nice solid rock. No loose rocks at all. A bit of heather and grass here and there, but nothing that's an issue. Plenty of holds, and as I said, when I approached, I took a right hand line to avoid the smooth slabs. Pretty much followed that straight up, avoiding the heather and the grass. Near the top, I then swung back to the left. I'm pretty much above the slabs now, which I uh, went around, as you can see down there. I took a line slightly to the left. Now I'm just making my way to the top of that buttress section along to that first ridge. I don't know how well you can see this, but here you go. That's where I'm going to the right, up by the quartz, the white quartz, and then left into that depression on the ridge line. That's the route. Hi there, I'm about halfway up. I'm on the uh, heathery, sort of grassy section, as you can see. Lake Edward behind me. This is where I came out, where these boulders are. And just to the side, that's Edward's staircase which usually holds quite a bit of water, but I think it's dry today. And moving up, I don't know how well you can see that with the sun glare on there. I'll be going up. This rock's here to the quartz, and as soon as I step above that quartz, throw a left and into the depression on the ridge. 
It's been pretty straightforward so far, to be honest. I mean, it's graded as a grade two, but um, being honest with you, on a nice day like today, where the rocks are really grippy, um, I actually found it quite straightforward, quite easy. So I think last time I came up here, there was a little bit of moisture on the rocks and it did feel a little bit more precarious in places, shall we say. But so far, so good. So anyway, I'm going to get on. Right, as for the rock itself, it's not super gritty. You know, like sometimes you walk on rock and you you say to yourself, well, there's no way I could slip on that rock. It's not like that, but it's not smooth either. So I would just describe it as nice slabby rock with an abundance of holds. As you can see, I'm making my way up. And look at all those holes. There's line after line after line. Not too grippy, not too slippy, plenty of holds. Probably wouldn't want to come up here when it's raining. And I don't know how well you can make that out with the sun glare. But there's the quartz seam up ahead. Oh, that'd be the quartz seam then. I'm just going to go up slightly to the left, up above it and to the left. Right, well that's me up near the uh, the depression that I showed you at the beginning of the footage on Seniors Ridge. Try to pan the camera. It's just up there. So only about a minute away. As I came up past that quartz, the seam of quartz. There's lots of different ways to get up to this point where I am now. Some are a lot easier than others. So if you do come up here don't pick the hardest route up. Some of them look like maybe proper climbing routes up there. Um, I think I went pretty much straight up, went over the quartz. I went straight up for maybe about 10 meters and then started bearing left. And it wasn't too difficult. You're sort of looking at maybe grade one, grade two scrambling. Uh, no more challenging than that. So look, it's been a great day. I've really enjoyed the scramble. Uh, check out the view. You know, better than going to work. And Sitting on a chair in front of a desk, eh? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to give this route an 8 out of 10 for the fun factor. Um, most of the route is a grade 1, but there's definitely a couple of sections on there that start broaching towards grade 2 in terms of difficulty. Uh, as for continuation, well, I need to get back home, so I'm going to go down Senior's Gully, back down to the lake and then uh, back to my car and back on the motorway. If you come up here, the obvious continuation is to go up onto Seniors Ridge, which is behind me, and then up to Glidavour. If you wish, you can go all the way around and come down the Devil's Kitchen and back down to Lake Idwell and really make a day of it. Anyway, that's me done. Look, thanks for watching. I really hope that you've enjoyed the footage. It's been a glorious day. I've had four days up in Snowdonia and this is my final day, so I'm going back home. Look, if you've liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. The truth is the more likes and subscribers I get, the more prominently YouTube will show my videos. And I've said before, that is a good thing because there's not much point in me, in me doing all this filming and editing if nobody's gonna see my footage. So look, thanks for watching and uh, I hope to see you on the mountain someday. And don't forget my website, thebullscrambler.co.uk. My name's Daniel and uh, thanks again. See you around.